Welcome to Up The Scale, a right on track game show. I am your host, Demi Michelle Schwartz. Get ready to hear familiar voices as previous guests of the show compete to see who will come out on top. So kick back and relax, don't fall flat, and remember, stay right on track. Hello, hello. Welcome back to Up the Scale. I am so excited to be joined by my very special contestants for Forte Face Off 3. Please welcome Danny Galasso, Madison Young, and Megan Pullis. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Doing good. I'm sweaty. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sweating because of nerves, not because I turned my AC off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm so happy you guys are here to give you a quick rundown how this will go. There are four segments, and they are Name Not Track, Music and the Strivia, The Songwriter's Toolbox, and The Final Crescendo. For the first three segments, you each will have individual questions. For The Final Crescendo, there will be one question, and whoever gets the answer first right gets the points. How the scoring works is all of you will start on middle C. When you get an answer right, you move up a whole step. When you get an answer wrong or don't know it, you drop a half step. At any point in the game, each of you can use your one sharp steal. This means that if another contestant gets an answer wrong or doesn't know it, you can steal their points and move up a half step going sharp. Whoever is highest up on the scale at the end of the game wins and moves on to the semifinals. So, just because I'm extra, I have some fun things here with me. I have a bell, and if you get an answer right, you're going to hear this. (laughs) (laughs) And if you get an answer wrong, you will hear my buzzer. Oh, God, that just sparked so much terror in me. (laughs) I I say, Madison, I'm like, I'm so official. I went from sweating to shivering. All right, cool. So do you guys have any questions? I'm just preparing to hear that negative buzzer a bunch of times. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying that. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's play up the scale. Let's get started with name that track. For the first set of questions, I'm going to give you artists and you have to tell me the song they collaborated on. These are all female collaborations. All right. Danny, you are first. Jesse J, Ariana Grande, and Nicki Minaj. Oh. I don't know. Don't know? All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was Bang Bang. Okay. Yeah. All right. Madison, you are next. Carly Pierce and Ashley McBride. Oh my god, why are you asking me country? I know pop so much better. <laughs> um, um, I don't know. Honestly, the only Carly Pierce song I know is, uh, I think it's See You Around, and I love that song, but I don't think that... Oh, no, no! The Carly Pierce Ashley Bride one is that um, it's that one about the... Oh, it's like, I never wanted to be that girl. That's is it! it that yeah. one? Yeah, that's it! Oh, heck yeah! Wow! <laughs> I don't know, country. Why do you give me country? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. All right, Megan, you're next. Okay. Iggy Azalea and Charlie XCX. Oh, my God. It's not boys. It is not boys. Are we able to steal yet? Yeah, whatever. Can I steal? Yeah. Okay, is it problem? It is not problem. <laughs> it was fancy. Oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> By them. That definitely popped into my head, and I was like, nah, that's not that one. <laughs> All right, cool. The next set of questions for Name That Track are the opening lyrics of songs by female artists. These are all very popular songs, also throwbacks, so y'all should know them. All right, Danny, you're first. Nice to meet you. Where you been? I could show you incredible things. Okay, that is Blank Space by it Taylor is. Swift. Yep. Yeah. 
heavens, I knew that. <laughs> All right. Madison, you're next. I know a place where the grass is really greener. Warm, wet, and wild, there must be something in the water. Hold on. Is it California Girls by it is. Katy Perry? Yeah. <laughs> I just heard that song this morning. <laughs> nice. Good throwback. Megan, you're next. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Grab my glasses. I'm out the door. I'm going to hit this city. Um, It is Tick. No, it's not TikTok. It's a uh... Don't Stop by Kesha. No, it is TikTok. Oh, I said TikTok. Yeah, I'll give that one to you because you you got it. Yeah. Thank you. I was like, I was like no, she had named her song TikTok like the app. Yeah. Like no, it's TikTok. <laughs> okay, Don't oh, Stop well. is in it. Yeah, you were saying it first, and you got okay. the artist. So yeah. All right. Cool. So at the end of Name That Track. Danny is on C sharp, Madison is on D sharp, and Megan is on C sharp. So just to be super clear, we go when we get it wrong, it's down a half step. If we get it right, it's up a whole step. Right. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I'm literally looking at a piano right now because I don't want to get confused. <laughs> okay. Now moving on to music industrya. The first set of questions are who am I riddles, and these are all careers or roles that people can hold in the music industry i'm basically going to describe their jobs and you have to tell me who i am danny you're first my job is to connect artists with opportunities for exposure who am i five four three an a r person it is not an r so you're dropping to Damn. c this is so harsh. <laughs> that was uh, a publicist. Madison, you're next. My job is to place songs into film, TV, and other forms of media. Who am I? It's a music supervisor. It is, yes. Girl. So you're moving from the D sharp to an F. Megan, you're next. My job is to keep an artist's career on track advise them in decisions and partnerships, tell them what is working, and tell them what needs improvement. Who am I? Manager. It is a manager. <laughs> so you're moving to D sharp. For the next set of questions in music industry trivia, these are music industry vocabulary terms. So I'm gonna give you a definition and you have to tell me the word. Danny, you're first. This is a company that secures commercial song recordings on behalf of songwriters a publisher it is a publisher yes <laughs> so you're moving up to d sweet madison you're next oh god okay this one this, this is the one i'm most nervous about <laughs> anyway okay <laughs> This is a common industry term that means not asked for or not requested. A common industry term that means not asked for and not requested? Yes. Don't overthink it. Well, you know me. All I do is overthink it. <laughs> <Same. laughs> oh, my God. Ooh. Five. Can I steal it? <laughs> um let her guess and then if okay. she, no. all right wait can you ask sorry a common industry what <laughs> it's a common industry term that means not asked for or not requested it's not just in the industry but it's used a lot in the music industry like it's a normal word it's just a lot in the music industry I don't even, I'm, as soon as Danny says it, I'm going to be like, oh, man. Right, so you want to pass? I, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to pass to Danny. Okay, so you're yeah. dropping from the F to an E. Okay, okay. All right, Danny, you want to steal? Yes, I want to steal. I believe the term is unsolicited. It is unsolicited. <laughs> yeah, it totally is unsolicited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you're moving up to the e, you're moving up to E flat because it's a half step and you're on D, right? You are. Oh, let me move up a half step. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a steal. It's a sharp steal. Oh, got it. Okay. So you are on D. So you're moving up to D sharp. <laughs> All right, Megan, you are next. 
This is a musical recording that has more music than a single, but is too short to be considered a full-length album. EP. It is an EP, yes. Woohoo! Nice. So you're moving up to F. At the end of Music Industrivia, Danny is on D sharp, Madison is on E, and Megan is on F. You guys are so close. This can go in many different directions. <laughs> Anybody can win. Now moving on to the songwriter's toolbox. These first questions are music theory vocabulary terms. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the definition. You have to tell me what the word is. Danny's first. The distance between notes. Interval. Yes. Woo! So you're going to F. D sharp to F. The whole okay, set. Cool. Welcome to F, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Madison, you're next. This term refers to singing without an instrumental accompaniment. Acapella. Yes. Woo! So you're moving to F sharp because you're on E. Okay. All that pitch perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, you are next. The chord that is the dominant chord of a scale degree other than the tonic. The root? I'm a little confused by this description. It's the chord that is referred to. So, like, this is the name. Uh, this is the type of chord. The name of this chord is the dominant chord of a scale degree other than the tonic. The fifth? I said the fifth. It is not the fifth. So you're dropping to E. It's the secondary dominant chord. Oh, darn it. The secondary dominant. Yeah. Clearly, I soaked that up for my education. <laughs> you asked some tough questions. Yeah. Girl. yeah. <laughs> Very tough. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are doing really well. Like, you're getting some right. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, for the next set of the Songwriters Toolbox questions, these are melodic contours or shapes, so I'm going to describe it and you have to tell me what it is. All right, Danny. This melody moves in stepwise motion. Uh, hold on, I know this. <laughs> I wanna cry because I know this. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know if, the, like, it's like, I remember one of them, and I don't know if this is the one that's stepwise, but <laughs> I'm going to say conjunct. It is conjunct. Oh, thank heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I always have to look that up for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so you're moving from F to G. Madison, you're next. This type of melody has leaps and wider intervals. I was literally just thinking this word, and then it <laughs> literally left my brain. Okay, hold on. Uh, a dynamic melody? No. <sighs> so you're dropping. You're on F sharp, right? So you're dropping to F. Yeah, wait. Wait, before you tell me. Wait, hold on. I'm not trying to steal. I just or not trying to, like, change the answer. I just, like, <laughs> actually want to think about this for a second. Hold on just a second. <laughs> okay, wait. What is it? Disjunct. Oh, oh okay. Gosh. Yeah. See, that was <laughs> that was the other one I couldn't remember, and I was like, "It's either conjunct or this other one." That I, <laughs> All right. I hope nobody I know listens to this episode because they're going to be so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> my, my parents are going to be like, "Why did you get a music education?" If you <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Megan, you are last. This kind of melody stays around one note. Around one note. Ah! <laughs> Five. Make me have a breakdown. Four. Um, three. Two. A simple melody? It is not. It's static. Wait, can I? Oh, Darn I was going to steal that. You already stole. <laughs> oh, I can't steal anymore? Okay. No, one. Yeah. Oh, you get one shot at stealing yeah. that. Yeah. Wow. So at the end of the songwriter's toolbox, Danny is on G, Madison is on F, and Megan is on D sharp slash E flat. Now we're moving on to the final crescendo. 
this final crescendo is record labels. So I'm going to list four artists who are signed to this label for the record Yes, pun intended. I found these artists on the record label's website on their artist page. So if one of these artists are not signed to this record label, you guys can direct your emails to the label, not me, because it's on their website. (laughs) 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 All right. So let me list all four and then guess. Whoever guesses it right first gets the points and will move up a whole step but if you guess and you're wrong you're gonna drop so all right ava max bruno mars ed sheeran and why don't we um and you don't have to guess if you don't know you don't have to guess no you don't have wait, to is there it, it, am i at risk of losing more points right if I don't guess? so if you don't know it you don't have to guess this is like, whoever gets it, if you guess it, you get it right. If nobody guesses, nobody gets it. But if you guess and you get it wrong, you're dropping. Oof. Is it? Okay. Can I? Uh, Danny, wait, you start talking first. Do you want to go? Um, if, you get, if you get it wrong, you're dropping. Whoop. All right. I'm just going to try to guess. Okay. And I'm going to guess universal. It is not universal. Can you... So you're <laughs> dropping. I can't steal it. It's oh, universal. I can't steal now? Universal Music Group is, like, the group, but it's not... I don't know if this label is considered part of the music group. So, there's no steal. It's just... You just guess. So, Danny was on G, so you're dropping to F sharp. So, who wants to guess Madison? Yeah. Okay. Is it Warner? It is not Warner. (gasps) You're dropping to E. Megan, do you have any guesses, or you just want to stick? Yeah. Okay. Interscope? It is not Interscope. Damn it! (laughs) So you're dropping two. So the correct answer was Atlantic Records. Ah, that was my other option, but it didn't make it to my forehead. (laughs) My mouth. (laughs) Well, either way, Danny is on F sharp, which means you're highest up on the skill, which means you win this round. Yay! Go, Danny! (laughs) Congratulations. You all did really well. Like, you were all very close the whole time. I think this was the closest game so far. I'm a little disappointed in myself. I hate the feedback. <laughs> no, Honestly, this is great. I, I listened to um, the first, uh, you know, Up the Scale Forte Face Off you did. I can't remember who it was, but everybody was super close. And one, I think the winner was on, like, A. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm prepared. I'm going to get that high. No. Mm-mm. Yeah. Ah. No preparing. <laughs> yeah. No. The first one. The first one was crazy because two of them got every single one of theirs theirs right. So it really came down to the last question. Well, it's really interesting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was crazy. But um, yeah, the last one, the second one was like really all over the place. And this one was very close. So. How are you like sourcing these questions, Demi? You must be spending like every minute of every waking day like uh, trying to find no i did this like <laughs> last night in like a half hour <laughs> oh my gosh good well, job yeah well this was lots of fun congratulations danny you will be moving on to the semifinals. madison and megan thank you so much for playing you guys did fantastic as well this was lots of fun listeners please go check out danny madison and megan's episodes of right on track they are all fantastic and of course until next time stay stay right right on on track. track